Hey, it's Robert here from robertcbrand.online. Hope you're having a terrific day wherever you are in the world today. Very short video today. Um, I just wrote down four quick points regarding how to uh, stand out from everyone else in the crowd, how to stand out from the crowd. And um, I'm going to whip through them really, really quickly, and uh, hopefully they'll make sense for you, and hopefully you'll put this stuff into play and see the results in your business. So, first thing, might sound really, really obvious. But the first way to stand out in the crowd is to be yourself. Stop trying to be somebody else. There is only one of you. So celebrate your uniqueness, celebrate your strengths, and focus on those strengths and expand them on those strengths. But be you, be happy to be you, and go out there into the world and share the you that the world needs to see and share the value that is unique to you, and you'll be much, much more successful than if you're trying to be somebody else. And so many people I see out there right now are spending their time trying to be the next Tony Robbins, or trying to be the next Frank Kern, or the next whoever it may be. For you, just be you, because you're just as special as everybody I've just mentioned in your own unique way. Perhaps you just haven't recognised that yet. So that's point number one. Point number two is honour your commitments and promises to your customers or your clients. Because so many entrepreneurs that I see out there again, they're, they're really kind of, they're, they're, they're very hit and miss in their approach to their businesses. You know, there's no real discipline and no real structure moving forward. And consequently, as a result, they're often letting people down on their promises and not coming through with what they promised to deliver. And it's not because they're bad people. It's probably because they promised too much. They've got overwhelmed and not been able to deliver on the promises they gave. So, again, be disciplined. Understand what you have the resources to deliver and what you don't. And don't promise over and above what you can actually deliver because that's going to lead to an awful lot of frustration and disappointment on the part of your customers and your clients and you absolutely don't want that. Always make sure that you give tremendous value and deliver on an incredible level but always, always, always make sure that whatever you say you can deliver you can comfortably do. Okay, that's point number two. Point number three Make your customer or client the very most important thing in the front of your mind at all times. You should never be thinking about yourself. You should never be thinking about what the latest promotion could end up making you. Always think about your marketplace from being in their shoes. So always put yourself in your customer or your client's shoes. What do they want? What are their pain points? How can you help them? What would you like the experience to be if it was reversed and you were the customer or the client? Always think of them. If you help enough other people get what they want, then you will always get what you want. And it's so very, very true. So focus on your marketplace. Make them the most important people, the most important focus every day in your business and you won't go far short of where you want to be as a result. So number four, and this is the final one, become a really great listener. I learned this early doors as a coach that the most important factor in becoming a really, really great coach is to become a really, really great listener. And there are actually three active levels of listening. And I'm not going to go into those now specifically. I can do that in another video. But essentially, long story short, most people don't know what it is to be listened to intently. And I mean really intently, properly. None of us get that. Very, very rarely. Because most people, when they're listening to us, are thinking about their own things and their own agenda or seeing what you're saying through their own perspective and how it affects them. So if you can practice really being an intent listener so that when people are speaking to you about their challenges and their issues or whatever it is in their business they need help with, then be there, feet on the ground, be there with them, intent and focused on what they're saying. 
And not only will you get more from the conversation and be able to help them on a deeper level as a result of a deeper level of understanding, but they will get that real strong connection and trust with you because they will sense that you are truly listening and it will make them feel as if they matter and they do and they should if you're going to be successful. So really practice your listening skills. But the four that I've just gone through, the most important one of all is to never lose sight of who you truly are. Celebrate yourself. Be unique. Be unique. Be you. Because that's what makes you special. Take your specialness out into the world and you'll do very, very well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Think about what I've said. Put some of it into practice. Let me know how you go. Speak soon. Bye.